Hello everyone, it's me the Boss Hog and we're going to have a look at our weekly motivation video right now. Let's do it. Alright, so standard format in terms of uh, updates. I mean, honestly not a ton. I almost didn't do a video, but actually the more I thought about this, the more stuff I did have to update and reflect on. Um, it felt like a fairly normal week, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, no no real excitement from, from that perspective. Um, I did have a couple of uh, useful uh, conversations with my wifey just on the financial stuff. Um, I think a lot of guys primarily um you know like their partners aren't necessarily super invested uh to begin with at the start of their financial journey um and you know it's one of those things that actually like the more you progress along that journey the more exciting it tends to become right bigger dividends bigger swings uh etc cetera, etc cetera. and for me it kind of started from the fact that my wife got a christmas bonus it was fairly sizable and originally we'd thought about using it to significantly upgrade our holiday uh, that we have in february it's already paid for but you know it would have been like a two grand upgrade and my wife instead decided you know actually she didn't really need that upgrade and would much rather focus on like investing improving our financial situation so i was really pleased with that to be honest with you um it's awesome it was ultimately her bonus so i had no problem with it and to be honest i was kind of looking forward to the upgrade um, but at the same time i'm also really happy that you know that was the decision that she felt comfortable getting to by herself uh, so that was awesome and you know because i've been working on my dashboard and the stock market's looking pretty good uh, at the start of the year then it just all kind of led into a couple of conversations along that line <clears throat> and i guess yeah i mean in terms of updates it's i guess the main purpose of my channel is really about my uh, journey to fire and investing more generally I've had such a stellar start to the year. Um, my big three companies are all kind of firing at the moment. So I have 40% uh, in three companies. Uh, Amcor is already extremely good and has become even better. Games Workshop had their news from Amazon and you know some earnings that initially the market reacted really poorly to, but then it caught up. And even today, Gamma has had, um, you know, did a sort of update that leaked to the market. Uh, very solid <clears throat> uh, by all accounts. So wait and see what the numbers look like when they're published. But seemingly that's also going quite well and again had some notable movement. So it did make me feel quite vindicated. And, you know, like basically my primary benchmark is the S&P 500 that I compare myself against. I do also compare myself to the FTSE 350 um, where I'm slightly underperforming the FTSE 350 just because it's held up so well across the last year. Um, but the S&P 500 is more of a comparable index, I think, just because I have like a, a close to 40% of my holdings in tech. So the fact that I'm outperforming that makes me feel really good. And yeah, just it seems to be going super well at the moment from an investment perspective. I'm also hoping to put in a lot more uh, on the 20th specifically when I get paid. Uh, my wife's asked me to build up a little bit of financial buffer. So even though we have a good amount in our uh, account at the moment uh, in cash, I'm resisting the urge to uh, to add to our accounts. So, uh, but I'm really happy with how things are going from that perspective. Also, what did go really well, just the one point in this section, but like I mentioned beforehand about play with my daughter, which again might seem a bit lame because I had to like celebrate the success there. But again, me and my wife both have full on careers and our daughter now is very close to turning three and is somewhat the maniac. Like she needs lots of attention. She's super inquisitive. Uh, it's lovely in small doses, honestly, but, you know, like if you're not giving yourself time to look after yourself as a parent, it becomes um, incredibly demanding. Uh, and again, because me and my wife, like neither of us has really stepped back from our career at all. Like we it's difficult, like we both have to give a little bit, basically, rather than one person being more of the home person. Uh, so what we have been doing is sort of splitting days and we still do that during the week in terms of, you know, nursery runs, who does evenings, who does mornings, etc. But we've decided to sort of introduce more of a split on the weekends. So it's almost like we're divorced in a way because she gets her for one day and I get her for another day. Uh, but honestly, it makes a huge difference just being able to switch off. You know, like we take our daughter out so the person can just sleep in, doesn't get woken up, can kind of have a bit of space just to think. Um, because what we were finding is that even when we had our half day off, it's like, you know, if she's still under your feet, you hear all the noise, you're trying to get some admin done. It just doesn't really work as well. So, I mean, honestly, we did it for this weekend and, um, I know my wife was a big fan as well. So I felt like we stumbled across a winner. Um, we're just going to keep more of a split, uh, sort of, you know, one day each on the weekend as much as possible, basically. So it will be full on, of course, when you have uh, daughter but likewise it kind of incentivizes you to go out etc etc so my wife's doing a museum this weekend and i may well take my uh, daughter to see uh cinema i'm not quite sure if she's going to be old enough yet i might try and find like a kids friendly screening uh but the new puss in boots uh, looks kind of fun and she's really into animals so that that's all the justification i need uh so yeah that, that was awesome 
Uh, in terms of what was solid, uh, I continue to do quite good reading. I'm happy with my reading. It could be better. I am still falling a little bit short of my two hours. Um, but honestly, considering some of the demands on my time at the moment, I'm super happy to be spending that much time reading. Uh, this week, it was mostly focused on sort of newspapers and magazines. So I didn't have a ton of time to read about uh, to read into further my book about negotiation, which I'm really looking forward to finding some time for. Uh, but I'm hoping I'll have some time over the weekend, uh, Saturday specifically, uh, to do a bit more there. But I'm happy with how my reading started for the week. It's a real focus for me. Also, work's progressing nicely. Uh, I had a company kickoff um, that I contributed to as well for the CFOs section, so that felt good. Um, also, what felt really good for me is that a lot of the stuff that was being spoken about was stuff that I had voiced um, in my kind of two and a half months there. Um, one of them especially where like I had to kind of argue uh, with my manager about the purpose of something and in fairness in, in, you know he, he backed me he's like Liam it's your uh, area so I'm gonna back you uh, and it felt really good to kind of have that spelt out by one or two other people uh, so that that felt good because I know he had some uh, skepticism about it the need for it um, but then I felt again quite vindicated in that perspective and, and I feel quite supported more generally uh, but it just felt like I was quite aligned to where the company is going and you know some of the company targets this year are quite demanding but that's being part of a private equity backed business uh, for you so we will see but uh, it felt good anyway I, I'm glad I'm working for an ambitious company. Uh, also again I continue to cook uh, decently I would say I didn't do anything super fancy um, but you know I just feel like I'm executing everything really nicely like you know in just like you know made some beautiful roast potatoes say or like really nailed a chicken or just feel like I'm kind of in the zone um, flavoring is all good. I don't think I've burnt anything for a while. Um, and, you know, I'm cooking some things that I enjoy cooking, basically. So, you know, that, that feels good from that perspective as well. Um, in terms of what didn't go well, I've only made it to the gym once. My target is to go at least twice a week, but really I want to be going three times a week. Uh, I was, and also it wasn't exactly an intense session. Like I just was trying to get back into it, et cetera, et cetera. So I guess I did a reasonable cycle, uh, but I didn't really push myself on the weights or anything. I actually didn't feel like great. Uh, so I was trying to just ease into it, which was, I guess, kind of successful. I'm hoping to go again uh, probably tonight. Um, but yeah, I only managed once during the week. So I'm going to put that in the didn't go very well section. And my only other section part here in this section is the fact that although I've been improving on my snacking, uh, there's still work to do. Basically, this is something I let get away from me over Christmas. Um, so actually cutting back uh, has got better, but I'm still going to put it in the what didn't go well section. Just one or two sort of little trips to... Uh, convenience stores or you know uh, etc so uh, could, it could be better um, but overall it's um, it was a fairly uneventful week like I had to think about this stuff basically um, but I'm broadly happy still with the direction of things I just would like to move a few things especially my gym actually like that's a big focus for me this this year uh, now that I'm in my sort of mid 30s uh, you know I sort of feel getting old a little bit so I kind of want to get on top of my like weight my fitness etc so that that one for me is one i really want to improve um, but broadly speaking i'm happy with kind of my um my personal life with my family and my professional life at work is definitely going nicely as well so broadly I, i'm happy enough for just one or two areas that i really want to improve in a little bit further anyway just a weekly update for now thank you very much for everyone i've been the boss Og, and good luck with your progressing bye for now